Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we are going to be checking out Character Creator because Character Creator 5 was recently released. Now what exactly is Character Creator? Well this is a commercial software for creating characters. You basically think of it as like a super powered game character creator. You bring in a variety of base meshes, you apply animations to them, you rig them, you set up their skin, their hair, the accessories, the props, etc. Uh, and that is kind of what Character Creator does. Now you might be thinking to yourself, isn't that metahuman? And yeah, they're very, very similar. In fact, uh, Character Creator is compatible with metahuman. So they actually will now support the same facial rigs, for example. You can export out from Character Creator over to uh, metahuman creator and then work with them directly without any loss or degradation. But the thing here is you can also export out to Blender, Max, Maya, Unity, in addition to Unreal Engine, Marmoset, Toolbags, etc. So you can work this into your workflow no matter how you're looking at it. So you can see one of the characters that have been created here there's a lot you can work with here and again the reason why we're talking about it is because character creator 5 was just released so i'm going to showcase a couple of the features of character creator 5 also going to show you quickly how you create a character using this so you get an idea of how the software actually works so you can see this is a pretty, pretty typical character we can actually do things like handle you know the expressions and so on this particular release this version 5 it added some neat new abilities so one of them specifically is this actor mixer so i can say here i'm going to use this as my base mesh so i'm going to start with this character i believe his name is camilla it comes as part of the demo by the way speaking of demo you can get a 30-day free trial of this now unfortunately it is only available for windows it's also commercial software but it's under a perpetual license so people should appreciate that aspect all right so you can see we have the new actor mixer this is basically a way of doing morphs between various different characters you can do it with uh, just the head, just the body, or the full character themselves. And what you do is basically pick the characters you're interested in. So say I was doing um, more towards here's a cartoon male child, cartoon female child over here. We have a goblin, we have a man, and so on. So then what you can do is basically come in here and say, okay, start mixing. And what you're doing is basically blending between different character uh, base meshes. So here we see our character right here is just herself. So when we're, now that we're mixing, I basically just start dragging this in the direction. So if I want to make her a little bit more masculine, I can go up towards the masculine character and we will blend between the two. So you can see there, again, slightly different masculine character or a little boy, like Nightmare Fuels for a second there. But here you can see we are working with an anime style. That's another big area where this is different from a lot of other tools, uh, especially MetaHuman, is that MetaHumans create very similar looking um, results. Basically, everyone looks a bit like a MetaHuman at the end of the day. This, as you can see, you can create highly stylized characters as well. So you can see a half blend between uh, an anime female base mesh and then our character's base mesh. And there is your result. You're kind of getting more of that... Uh, um, Alita movie kind of vibe going on there. Or we could go here and mix her with a goblin, who unfortunately is quite a bit shorter, so it's scrolled down. And I'm not going to lie, that is sort of the work of Nightmares. So let's move her back a bit towards the baseline as well. And there you go. So there is one of the new features. It is this new actor mixer that has been added. Another thing that we've got going on is this new... Uh, high def side of things. So high def on a couple of levels. High def in terms of animation and high def in terms of base mesh. We're going to start a new one with this. This is one of the demos they've got. This person looks, by the way, exactly like a cross between um, Wolverine, like Hugh, um, and also, uh, let's say, the, the lead singer of Rise Against. <laughs> that's, that's exactly who I see here. So you can see they've got a new uh, facial rig and high def mesh service. So you can actually do multiple different LODs so you can export it for a game, but also have a cutscene level version of it with super high density meshes. So here you can see. Hi everyone, my name's Aaron. I am the fifth generation main actor for Reillusion Character Creator 5. So we have this new high density uh, facial morph rig here that is again, 100% compatible with uh, Unreal Engine's tooling, so you can bring it across or bring their stuff in here and work from there. So that is another one of the new features here. And again, we have these high detail uh, meshes, base meshes that are available as well. So you want to start things from scratch. Let's go ahead and create a new project here. I'm going to go ahead and create a character. Oh, so you know, this would be if you're bringing in your own base mesh. So you could bring it in as FBX, so you model it in Blender or Max or Maya or whatever, and bring it in that way. I'm going to use one of their base meshes, specifically the new um, CC5 high definition version of it. 
So then once we got our base character here, what I'm going to do immediately is add some pants because this is YouTube. Uh, so here is our baseline character, pretty boring. So we've got a number of different props. Again, you can, you can model these yourself in whatever tools you want. So here, cloth, um, pants, Let's bring in some biker jeans. Again, there is a full functioning trial available. That is what I'm actually using right here. Another thing you might want to do is obviously give this character some skin. Uh, we can do a full skin. So I could do something like, um, where did skin go? Skin. All right, here, drop skin overall. Pick a 4K character, drop that in, and then boom, we're getting that character's skin there. Apply it across various points, and then boom, it brings it in accordingly. Now, everything that we're dealing with here is modifiable. So here, for example, the skin that I just dropped in, I can go over here to the materials. These are all basically substance materials, by the way. You also have full integration in with substance if you want to open it up that way. But I could do basically pick uh, standard skin, uh, the skin on the head. All right, so here, let's let's... Let's showcase that. So here, the head skin is being selected. So I can come on down here, and you can see we got, I could change the roughness, uh, like so, micro uh, micro roughness scale in that case, or something just as simple as the um, active skin. So I could do color adjustment on that skin. Let's activate that. And then we could pick, so there is the uh, color, pick illumination levels like so. I could change the color out, and we could create this guy into a monster. So you got fine-tuned control over pretty much every single aspect of everything you're looking at. The cool thing here is you also even have these morphing tools. So you got a wide variety of morph targets over here. You can drag them in um, and drop them to another morph target over here. But if you want to, to morph between results, you can do it there as well. So you got all these morphs you can work with and blend between even and just individual aspects. So uh, just like here, the skull width, we can, we can modify that as well. And then you do things like... Uh, you know, add some hair. So here we got hair like so. Uh, so we got a variety of different hair uh, elements or we've got here, I think we've got specialized hair. Uh, we'll do stylized and let's add that hair in here as well. So there you can see a place to in. And another aspect of what Character Creator takes care of for you is things like here doing um, conforming. Uh, so over here, I could just, I could control like how big the asset was. Uh, then I could have it basically placed down accordingly. Another aspect that we've got going on is these characters are fully rigged. So come up over here. You'll notice I could go here, set the T-pose for this character. And we are now in T-pose mode like so. Um, you can configure it that way as well. And then we can change poses. You've got tools in here for that as well. So if you want, it's not an animation tool. It's uh, kind of an assembly tool. So here we've got that. So here you can see I got inverse kinematic animation going on. I can set and pose my character however I wish. Again, I always make monstrosities when I demonstrate these tools, but you get an idea of what it's all about. By the way, there are also full-blown animations. You can bring your own animations in as well, uh, and then just apply the animation at a macro level. Let's see if I can do this right. So here you see animations, for example, um, and human male, idle animation, and relax. And I can apply that animation to our character. Again, you can import your own animations in uh, however you wish. Uh, so, or here, let's do like a, a little relaxed walk, walk cycle there. And now that is applied to our character. Let's stop editing our pose. Should be able to animate our character now because it has the walk applied. And there you go. So there is our walking idle character. And again, you can export this out to a variety of different uh, areas. I should probably uh, finish dressing said character. So we come up over here, give it an accessory of, obviously we need oop, nothing there. Uh, I don't want a hat. I got such a lovely thing going on there. Um, let's get a coat. All right, here. By the way, they have a huge library of things available as well. But here again, you put the item into the scene. It dresses and assembles your character. It, it again is like a super powered uh, character creator from a video game with export tools for however you wish. And then again, here you have these conf confirmation tools, uh, conforming tools here for, again, if you want to resize the object that you're replacing, uh, and then you can have it calculate down how it collides and make it fit to your object and so on. So it's got things here for more or less dressing your characters, fitting your characters, uh, and applying all these things together. And then you can export it out to the various different tools you want. So that kind of in a nutshell, that is Character Creator, uh, a very simple demo of it.
Uh, again, uh, full character creation system. There are also new I uh, values that they added here with this particular version, but it's compatible with their own tool, iClone, as well as Maya, Blender, Unreal Engine, Unity, or any other 3D tool as well. Inside of Character Creator 5, the big new features again, we do have that actor mixer for blending uh, between the various different base meshes that are available. Uh, high definition character support. This includes, again, multiple different LODs. They updated their base meshes to be uh, have these multiple subdivision surface forms, and you can switch between the subdivision for surface levels. So if you want to have more of a far away or slow version, you can do that, or you can zoom it in as well. And then we also, again, have the HD animation using the same facial rig that you would use for metahumans. Uh, which is, again, a neat little feature. And on top of that, you've got things like accurate lip syncing, micro expressions, uh, puppeting of facial controls, and so on. So a bunch of features around this as well were added in this particular version. Uh, and of course, they want you to work with their other tools that are out there as well. So if you're interested in picking this one up, first off, there is a free 30-day trial. But here you can see this is it. It is $2.99. That gets you the base version of it. It is a perpetual license. So once you own it, you own it until the next, well, you own it forever. Uh, but then you can get the next version. There's also a deluxe version. This has uh, the core library of mixers, so a bunch of different uh, uh, face sets to blend between, uh, the morph sets to work between, and a human anatomy set to work with as well. So a bunch of content there if you're interested in that. So there you can see is a $300 program. Uh, again, the nice thing about it is this is a buy once type application. And as you saw from my demonstration, you can create monstrosities, which I do appreciate. So ladies and gentlemen, that is Character Creator 5. The big new features, of course, being the actor mixer, the high def animations, the new facial rigs, uh, the new high def eyes, the LOD systems, etc., and yeah, pretty much everything else. So let me know what you think of Character Creator. Have you used it before? Are you going to check it out? Let me know in the comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.